Women on Change family, Lexima here, the founder of Women on Change and the Lead and Earn program, where I am inspiring you to take the lead and create and change your whatever you, whatever you want, whatever you wish. Create your own inspiring journey. I hope this face this message finds you well so it's all about the moms and moms and moms to be moms who are moms but without the kids that's right you don't have to have children to be mothers some of us are naturally like that so why the moms you know what they say without mothers there's no world that's right or fathers too but you know who carries the baby forward <laughs> all right um so the topic today is why do so many of us women who I don't want to say who feel the need to become mothers, but believe or seem to believe that without parenting, without pushing a child, which as many of you know, sometimes so many women lose their lives around the world uh, having children, right? Yes, your ability to, to birth doesn't always have to be a child. That's what I believe. And I'm definitely one of these people who they not thinking having a child is how or what makes me um, a capable, loving person, right? Um, there are different ways to go about that. So as women, what do we feel the need to be enough to get married, to have kids, whatever else? have a mention or have a certain type of weight, whatever that is for you. Remember, lead and earn your blink, whatever it is. But today we're focusing on motherhood and moving forward, it's all gonna be about the that topic because to me, I think there is a bigger thing there that we women, it's such a powerful tool that women have, right? But at the same time, I think it's being used in ways that we could have, or it's being exercised, it's not used. It's a powerful tool that I believe we can leverage to change what it means to be a parent, to be a provider to a child, and to frankly change the world that we live whether it's overcoming, you know, whatever, violence or um, any challenge out there that includes people being affected by it. I truly believe that everyone has a responsibility, but particularly women who have the ability to play a greater role in that uh, because of the power of becoming or choosing to become a parent if you so choose. And I think too often we think of motherhood, right? I mean, this is a, a personal thing for me, for someone who made it very clear on early in life that I didn't want to have children. And I didn't know what that topic was, right? I just knew it as a young kid, that, like, you know, there are a lot of reasons for that. But I just remember from friends, family, you name it, the, the way that they were thinking about that, whether or you two good of a of a giver or you this you that or you're not enough if you don't have this you know all colorful words okay some are nice some purposely try to hurt telling you you're not enough or not wanting such a thing but ultimately my question is this why do so many women again that's your choice right why do so many women feel the need that having until they have a child or have children, they are not enough? 
okay now let's assume you are in college you are 18 20 or 21 um, and it could be older right and you are thinking about becoming a mother or you're a young man you're thinking about becoming a father or you already have children my hope is that as you think about what it means for you to be a parent or if you already are a parent just those two right there what are you thinking or what were you thinking that resulted of you becoming a parent and what do you hope to change or improve based on your experience so far so if you 18 and older you don't have kids yet you're thinking about parenting or becoming a parent what are some things that you've experienced okay in thinking that perhaps I may not want for my family that I'm thinking about creating or a parent who has children in thinking about some of the things that you experience that you may not want to um, your children to experience right and you'll find some extreme you'll find some that are a little more balanced and I think that's the challenge we're seeing around the world right whether those who are parents you know they're deprived of certain things as, as children um, and then they become adults but never overcame those things and what happens is they have children and their children become the receiver of that or you have those that are 18 through and older who feel like they're not enough but having a child will make them feel enough all right and that could be anything or maybe they just fall in love and they feel like the next best thing is to have children I am wondering if we could um and there's nothing wrong with having children unless if you think about the challenges that are around the world particularly the number of children and frankly adults who are dealing with so much hardships whatever they are now there are a number of them but let's assume that you could change one of these things right maybe it's not birthing a child but let's say you could birth an idea to tackle a challenge but me personally my top bring up this topic for me I'm curious I want to learn if you can share what is it that makes you feel like having a child if you're enjoying life or your marriage you're happy like you don't have kids why is that the next best thing for you like why why is that the thing people feel the need to have next why not <laughs> like come out like how come the majority of the world that's the go-to why not hey let's tackle let's work on this problem right because to me and i'm not saying children are a problem but it's a responsibility and to me anything else that you try you can choose to tackle can be such why does it have to be creating another life and of course i'm not saying that's what everybody does that of course there's a balance there are folks who balance that really well they're great at managing themselves they're healthy they feel happy that's what they want to do and as a result you see what comes out of that right healthy roots most of the time produce healthy fruits right so how can we make sure we become healthy in enough before we can say hey I want to create this beautiful thing but not just that temporary happiness as my mother would say um, who has 10 kids would say oh you know every time you eat you feel good then a baby comes a year later not that kind of happiness that's that's so short term but like let's say you could get married or even if you're not married you're in a relationship that you feel so happy what would it take for you to think about creating something with that individual before a child like what what needs to involve what needs to evolve as a result of that so that's something that i'm very curious about um because for me i've had some relationships that have been longer than most marriages and i never felt the need um, and maybe it's because that I, that's something i've said really early on and I'm sure it could change but I've been in relationships where as I said they've long they've been longer than most marriages but it was never my first thought 
to have a child as part of that relationship. Yes, I've made it clear before <laughs> I go into those relationships where I stand when it comes to having children. But that's a personal thing. It's yours. But my hope for you with the Lead and Earn program is for you to try to understand these things because these are things that I've gone back and forth on like looking at my roots where I come from, like the things that I've experienced, you know, trauma. And, and I, I don't know, I'm calling them trauma, but I call them like hardships, right? And they come in different shapes and sizes for different folks, different strokes for different folks. But I also believe that these unique experiences, if we take time to actually study them, which is what I've done, and you don't have to do that, but at least somewhat understand them, what would you do differently? If you're a parent now, or if you're thinking about becoming a parent, what would you do differently, right? Or if you're a youth, you're not even there. And I mean, I've been so many in so many parts and countries around the world, but people are so shocked to learn when I tell, because they all think, you know, this woman is made with children, but when they learn that that's not the case, they're so shocked by it. I don't know why. It's like societal brainwash them to think that that's what every woman should have. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. But if, if that's you, I'd like to know, what is it that, have you ever thought of anything else in your happy union besides children? Okay, again, not judging, I'm just curious because as one of 15 children, my dad has 15 kids, my mom has 10 with him, and I'm one, I mean, I have so, my family is so huge, which I, I'm grateful for because maybe if I didn't have that big family, I would probably have 10 kids like my mother does. But the truth of the matter is, there's something that I like to know in terms of societal pressures that have influenced particularly women to feel like without having a family, without being married, um, something that's missing, we feel the need to have children, but not thinking the longer uh, challenges that these children could have as a result. Of course, you're not thinking that you don't have it all. I mean, we none of us have it all, right? But you don't have the, the, the internal, um, um, what I call, the internal peace that you feel before having children, but versus that emptiness that you feel, or that void that you think children would, would help you, um, you know, feel. So I'd like to know, I know this was long, but I'm really curious, um, and it's a question. What fills you up outside of motherhood? Or the thought of motherhood and marriage um, yeah again the reason I'm asking this is because to me I feel like it's such a powerful tool that women have if we could flip that let's say 50% of women of women around the world were having kids and 50% of us were doing or tackling other things and I think it's going there don't get me wrong I really think it's going there despite all the talks around the world women are having less kids I think that's a huge shift that's coming but I'm, I'm curious with that said thank you for listening and I look forward to seeing you in the next video subscribe if you may if you enjoy hearing all these things again I like to have a discussion it's coming um, please, 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 I look forward to uh, seeing you on the next video. All right, cheers.